Okay, we know black folks, and guess what matches pretty much what you're seeing from the new satellite, and basically, more than likely, this is actual factual truth. Light waves, light, all light is waves, okay? And if you know about microscopes, and if you know what it takes to put the ingredients in paint so that it makes sure that it reflects, basically shows you the color that you want, uh, it's just all the colors of the spectrum. Okay, but this is showing up at exactly 10 something, 10.55 and 44, 47 seconds Hawaii Standard Time today. Now, you, if you go to Dutch's uh, site, he is promoting and has this guy's video, which is actual factual data truth. That's what I always show you too. And I'm going to go to the freshest satellite images. And basically this image is from... Uh, actually, I'll just back up and it should show me, but I'm pretty sure I'm showing you like the uh, the fourth at about five something, five thirty six or something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I didn't mean to do that, but anyway, we'll go left here. But you have to remember at ten something you're getting that image up high in Hawaii. So basically, this matches, okay, to this, okay, because you're getting the reflection 3D of a sun dying dwarf star or whatever you want to call it okay and basically you're getting it on the ghost now they change satellites more than likely because what's going on is I'll show you as we back up in this page and it should pretty much show you the time it starts off in September something but I basically what I had clicked on is I clicked on like the fourth because we only have so many shots of the fifth now I can show you we'll even go to the latest and what's going on is light propagation in a wave there's so much light out, <coughs> out there from either one of the stars or com alignment of a bunch of stars in the supergiants in the sun that are basically giving you a almost a holograph through our atmosphere when we're shooting at Earth and trying to take a satellite picture because what you're doing is like he mentioned is you're getting a shift of basically the west coast is showing up as an image here in our atmosphere basically from a lot of the volcano ash and from the chem trailing and the radioactive nuclei that are in the air from so basically we have a bunch of dirty air and we know we have that high altitude the radiation is high on passengers and stuff like that i've showed you that and Radchick has showed you that also you go to this one it's probably gonna be pretty much close to the same shot so we do have pretty much close to the same shot now I'll go down and show you that basically I was showing you the shot from the 4th and I believe I gave you this 531 because I was wanting to look at early AM now the 935 will show the 935 this is what I just showed you when I first started the video okay so basically there you go you've got a sun a star or an alignment of stars and or we're getting down to the actual factual truth that we are going to have to have scientists disclose there's way more than just we it's an actual fact you already know because like i've just told you in your mind you know that a star is a sun okay there are stars in the supergiants that are 74 times the size of the sun uh, many of them four times and way larger there's a hundred stars okay and then we have an alignment of these stars so we're going to go ahead and see what we get for an image and basically at that later time and basically I'll go back and it's like one below the five o'clock and then you get that for light propagation out there so as you see earth is turning away from it from the north american side and the south american side later in the day but at 10 something that's why it's high to the sky because what we end up with at 1044 because this is the most fresh shot it, is that what's that's what you end up with in hawaii what you're doing is getting the 3D holographic effect of looking at and basically I'm pretty sure that I showed you the 8 o'clock hour now I'll show you the 9 o'clock hour of yesterday and the same thing will happen today more than likely you're getting the higher shot of this at 10 something in Hawaii at 13,800 and something feet okay because that's how high the telescopes are over there. And then you can see a light ray of that light that you're getting. And remember, light is a wave. And we get different light waves and everything propagation from the sun and the supergiants. 
And this is from the Canadian France White Telescope. It just matches up an actual factual that these are not anomalies when you go to the ghost satellite shots. It's actually light propagation in the star way the hell out there. Okay? And then we go back to when you have early morning hour, and then we'll be able to more than likely go to Hawaii's coordinates because it'll give us pretty much the same thing that we're seeing in the sky at this 531, and we'll go to 226 too and see what we got there because we're seeing that, okay? So it's not an anomaly, okay? It's all light propagation. It's basically a big photovolic, but it's actually light out there, okay? And then we are receiving it here like what a photovolic eye does because basically a photovolic eye is an eye for a computer system, basically PLC, programmable logical controller, just like your computer is. And here you go, and then you get that the radiation of that sun coming up over there. And basically, if we rotate around to that, basically Hawaii is probably, because here's Baja, Hawaii is about probably here. So basically, this is what's end up gives, and is going to give Australia a bunch of heat. And India, and all where the, all that major quake action is going to happen over there. So, because you can see... The sun there on, and the sun in the supergiants, and basically all those light waves are arrayed together, and they are coming down and hitting Earth. And the satellites are catching it. Once again, that shot was from the 4th, and that was at 2.26 a.m., okay? So basically, you could research what's coming up in that area with your worldwide telescope, and you'd have a good idea of what, and I think I accidentally clicked on the 12.30. So, it's with the sun, because at that time, UTC time, I believe that uh, that could be sunrise over in, like, Japan and so forth and so on. So, you gotta do your, you got to do your time conversions, because this should be UTC Zulu time, all these times here. So, we can go back another day, and when I'm doing this with you live on the, you know, as I'm making a recording. So basically, we should probably more than likely see the same light propagation when we have, and yes it is, there it is again. But as you see, it's a little higher on this shot than it was on the other one. And they pretty much need to do it so that they don't get, uh, so it's nice to know that the new satellite is a little bit more sensitive to, or unsensitive, to be able to get the shots clear, because maybe the other one, that's why they changed satellites, because they didn't really tell us, oh yeah, the time is, you know, due for the, the satellites too old, well, but if the thing's still up there, it still be able, should be able to give shots, but the idea, if it's not able to handle this light propagation and separate it, it seems like this satellite must be able to do it, because the government switched to the satellite to use it. So... It is basically, this is all primal factual, this guy's video is showing you wild image of Earth. And it's not a wild image, it's actual factual that this stuff is there. I.e., this is two days earlier, this is the third at 5 something a.m. UTC time. And then we have this at 1040 something. And let's go ahead and... And basically, this is your image that you have. There it is right there. <clears throat> there it is right there. So 520 UTC Zulu time. We'll go ahead and convert that to uh, the local Hawaii time. I mean, uh, the local Japan time. And we'll see if it matches up with anything that's giving us that light propagation and that heat that's making that volcano react real big in, in Japan. We'll do a time conversion here in a second, but I wanted to show you that I was able to pull up, and I could even maybe go closer than this, but I'm going to show you what I got on Sechi real fast. This is where you got Neptune and Uranus and so forth and so on, so it's on the back side of Earth. I've always told you that this is stuff is close to us, all-time closeness on our back door, okay, as we're going through space. It was basically pretty easy to see because the idea that when we were looking at uh, all the objects that were getting close to Earth and we kept on doing the diagrams and everybody was showing the... Uh, Oh, what the heck was it before Lovejoy? It was the idea that we were looking at that comet coming in and everything like that. So there's Neptune on our back door. 
So basically, sun somewhere in here, and these are the CMEs that have been hit, missing us. And basically, there is a CME, if I still have solar otters, that is going to hit us. And let me go and show you that real fast. But this is the latest action coming off the sun. Now remember, the sun's right here in the hole in the well, right there, okay, in the middle of the Milky Way, okay. And what we know, at least that's what we were told and trained and taught, okay. And the idea Earth has Neptune and Uranus and everything to its back door right now. So, so remember, folks, you could be sitting up there where the telescopes are at, and you'd be able to see this, okay, at 13,800 and some feet over there in Hawaii right now at 10 o'clock and getting higher. Basically, should be straight out the same thing as seeing our images that we end up seeing at IE. So, it's great that the satellites are picking it up. Basically, can't pull it out because if they pull that out, they'd have to block off this ear image of. So, basically, when Ghost gives that whole shot at one time. Hopefully we'll keep on getting those indexes and getting the whole shot and they won't be cookie cutting stuff out. But let's go ahead and take a day ahead of time because we were looking at the, the third. Let's go up to the second. Let's go at 223. And there you go. Same star in the sky, putting the light there. And then we will go back to the 5 o'clock shot on that same date. Of, I think we're at the second now. And on the second, we'll go to 526. And there you go. And let's go in another hour ahead because that's what you get at 526. And it's just prime actual factual data that we are in the solar system, in basically space, where generations and generations haven't been for years. And there you go. At 526, it's over there on the other side of Earth, up, up high. So, with that showing that at 526 there, oh, 824, sorry, I punched on that. Now let's get back to 526, and let's see what we got at 526. So as you see on that date, it only showed that. And let's pop back another day real fast. I think we'll end up being back when we'll go to... Let's just go to the 30th, and we'll hit on 520, and there, the sun and the supergiants. More examples of the sun and the supergiants. Basically, all of this is, because it's not just the sun. We're getting light propagation from outer space from the supergiants, a bunch of other stars, i.e., that's why I have all those links for all of those volcano webcams, so that the idea that you see the star propagation and the sunlight that we're getting on Earth, and also basically we're getting, remember we're getting weird reflections right now because we got a lot of alignments that we normally do not have of the planets, and i.e. Big Bangs, and where are we back in the Big Bangs, and there you go, there's another image. So it's not an anomaly, it's what's actually out there, wavelengths of light that are coming through. So, that you know that we were basically showing you straight up data, straight up from and then IE, you get the reflection again because you get the 3D action from all the, and maybe 4D, 5D, whatever Ds you want to talk about because you're getting it from the strongest light sources in the world, the supergiants and the sun. Okay? A bunch of stars, ladies and gentlemen. There's way more than one sun. So, let's see what we got again there at the second. And then we'll move back down to showing you what. The latest freaky stuff that they've been looking at. And it's not really freaky, it's just actual factual data. And we'll get to the 5 or something o'clock, 531. And there you go. So watch the hype about Nibiru and all this stuff like that. It's just going to be hella hot and we're going to have unusual weather and we have high radiation from Fuka Fudge Up. Alright? So just keep aware and keep watching all the data and all the movies from just about anybody. And sift out what you think is actual factual because I go to actual factual proof, and even without trusting the government, I go ahead and look at see what's in the sky over there, and there you go, you've got it in the sky at 10-something, the sun and the supergiants, 
Because there you got Cyrus. It's the most brightest thing you're going to see. I should see. And all these super giant suns are way larger and brighter right now.